So now stepping away from that and actually talking about where we are right now at Front Row Motorsports, tell me about kind of how it evolved to you getting the ride here. Well, I, I started uh, talking to Front Row probably five years ago. Um, and uh, Jerry Freeze has, has been here, the general manager, for a while. And, and, um, and I built a good relationship with him. And, and, and they had always just been so friendly with me and always, you know, had the, kind of the door open that, that said, look, we really, you know, someday we'd really love to have you drive here. Um, and this was five years ago. Um, you know, they've, they've had uh, good drivers over the years with David Gillen and David Reagan, and they're a loyal team and they, you know, they, they never had the need to, to uproot the organization or anything like that. And I had always kind of had a ride. I was working with the Hillmans. Um, and, and had a good deal going with the 40 car that I didn't want to leave. Um, and so when the, um, when the charter system came on and it kind of um, scrambled the eggs of the, the race teams, the, the structure of the teams and, and, and who was getting charters and who wasn't, it kind of finally opened the door um, for Front Row to, to reset the organization. And, and that's where they brought me in last year um, with Chris Busher. And, um, and they started a new um, alliance with Roush Fenway and so it was kind of a new chapter for both of us to start working together. So with Front Row, I mean obviously I love starting from the top down. Uh, Bob Jenkins is, is uh, you know, he's a great car owner, he's a great person. Um, you know, he loves the sport and he loves racing. You know, everything starts from the top, I, I feel like, at these places and, and I think that's, you know, one of the best foundations you can ask for out of a team owner. We know that, that he's, you know, if we were to lose one of the sponsors, I mean, he's, he's going to make up the difference to make sure this team runs well so that we can seek out um, sponsors and, and, and have proper funding. Um, you know, and I think that we just, um, it's just a hungry group. You know, Donnie Wingo is, a, is an experienced crew chief, someone who has been around, who knows how this sport works. And, um, and I put a lot of value in that. And I, you know, I, I really appreciate him when I came over here um, they put me with Donnie and they said this is the best crew chief we've ever had. Um, you know, they love the way he, he leads the team. So I think, you know, we just, we have a lot of hunger right now because of our, re our relationship with Roush to, to be able to put the same product on the track that they're building because they're running pretty good right now. So we want to use up um, those resources as much as we can. Where do you see yourself five years from right now? I mean, I, I do, uh, I, I need some trophies on the mantle. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, even in, you know, I, at this point, I mean, it's like I've been racing for a while now and, and, and it's, it's been hard. It's been a grind. Um, I feel like I've had my nose to the ground for my entire career and I don't see that changing at all. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like this, the entire thing will be vindicated when I win a race. And yeah. so my goal is to have a race one. Um, you know, super speedways are great and I'd love to win the Daytona 500. I'd love to win the super, oh, super speedway. but. You know, for, for the pride and, and raw race car driver in me, I'd love to win a short track. I'd love to, you know, win at Bristol yeah. um, or, or Martinsville um, or Richmond. I mean, I, you know, those, those places are just so raw and so real and people look at short tracks and I feel like they respect drivers that run well at short tracks. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, you know, I, I, think, I think a place like that is maybe where I'd like to get my first win. All right, well, Landon, thank you so much for your time. It's been fun getting to know you more and hear your story and good seeing you after several years. And yeah. um, I hope that you get that trophy. Yeah, thank you very much.